Um, uh, I'd like to read you a quote from the book uh, Explaining Hitler by Ron mm -hmm. Rosenbaum. Mm -hmm. uh, he's referring in this quote specifically to uh, Claude uh, Lanz Lanzmann. Uh, mm -hmm. He's French, I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Uh, Paris-based filmmaker who created the nine-and-a-half-hour film uh, Shoah. It mm -hmm. was released in 1985. Um, uh, Rosenbaum said, for Landsman, the attempt to explain Hitler is not merely futile but immoral. He calls the very enterprise of understanding obscene. There are some pictures, and this is Landsman speaking, of Hitler as a baby too, aren't there, he said. Uh, there is even a book written about Hitler's childhood, an attempt at explanation, which is for me obscenity as such. Uh, Rosenbaum then said, one can sense why Landsman finds the impressionable plasticity of the baby pictures of a fatally, uh, a fatally alluring invitation, the deceptive and dangerous promise of understanding. Um, I'm wondering, do you see any correlations between Landsman's characterization of Hitler explainers uh, with those who, uh, uh, those who address the question why, which is the, the question that's always repeated about the Holocaust, um, uh, uh, as obscene to the modern state of Israel's assertion that many of its critics are anti-Semitic? Um, Look, this is just nonsense. It's just meaningless and trivial plasticity of pictures. What do these terms mean? They're completely empty-headed. It's obscene to try to understand. Now, I understand that the, the documentary he produced was quite good. My parents liked it. I never watched it. Um, but why is it obscene to try to understand why a phenomenon happened? Do you want to worship at it? Do you want to explain it? Or do you want to understand it in order to avert its repetition? To say you don't, I'm trying to understand it is obscene. I'm afraid to say this is typical French intellectual drivel. Uh, and he's, and then these expressions, obscene as such. What does as such mean? It's just this pretentious twaddle. I don't know why people even pay attention to this. It's pseudo-profundity. Would you say of any other crime in history it's obscene to try to understand it? Oh, it's okay to try to understand Genghis Khan and Joseph Stalin, but it's obscene to try to understand Hitler. Why? Do, do you think that that, 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 uh, that attempt to characterize understanding as obscene uh, has influenced the, the perception of uh, criticisms of, of, of Israel today? Uh, for example, uh, in Thomas Friedman's book, uh, the, 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 the whole purpose of this is to put the Nazi Holocaust in a category all its own. Everything else is understandable. The Nazi Holocaust is not understandable. Everything else we should try to rationally comprehend. The Nazi Holocaust, it's obscene to try to comprehend it. It's all designed to you know, prove the uniqueness of the Nazi Holocaust, and therefore the uniqueness of Jewish suffering, and therefore to exempt Jews in Israel from ordinary moral standards. It's, uh, it's just uh, it's a shakedown. It's moral extortion.